Some people assigned to the mortuary are apprehensive when they first arrive. Coming here, it's just totally different. I was scared, really scared. Uh, personally, I mean, it's real stressful. People like mortuary director William Zigorowski realize the importance of what is done here. And we see that a flag draped casket going out and everything is, is as good as it can possibly be under the circumstances. Uh, and that, that husband, wife, brother, sister who looks us in the eye and you know has tears in their eyes when we salute them off, um, that makes it all worthwhile. The latest task at Dover, preparing the remains of the Columbia shuttle crew for their families. It gave pride to, to what we do. Uh, it made me proud to be an American. Right behind these doors is where the remains are inspected, identified, and prepared. This includes a positive identification process, either by fingerprints, dental records, or DNA. It also includes a personal effects identification, where simple everyday items, such as someone's glasses, their watch, wallets, even car keys can tell a story about who the person was. The staff also prepares uniforms for all branches of the military who are sent here. Not only do we have to know our own uniform, which comes pretty easy, but we also have to know all the regs on the Marine uniform, all the different types of Navy uniforms, the Coast Guard, the Air National Guard. Uh, we do a, all branches of services here, and it can't leave here with a defect. And everyone here agrees on one thing. All the stress and attention to detail is worth it. Being able to restore the honor, the dignity, and respect that a, that a fallen soldier deserves. And it makes working, you know, not really work, but just something you want to do because it means something to somebody. You know, they, they've served their country. The, you know, they have did the best, the most honorable thing they, that you could do in the military. You die for your country. The mortuary staff takes pride in its motto of always with honor. Staff Sergeant Melissa Allen, Air Force News, Dover Air Force Base, Delaware.